What did I get for Christmas? Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had an amazing Christmas and a very happy new year to you too. So for today's video, I thought that with the help of a very special friend of mine from Instagram, we could both go through what we got for Christmas and ask each other some questions and just find out a bit about what we got and the Potter items we got. So I'm gonna be having the Hufflepuff Queen one help me today. Hey, Greg. And we're just gonna talk through some of the things we got. My first question is I want to see, Greg, what your favourite house-related gift is. So, I have two gifts that I got for Christmas, which are Raymond Cross slippers, which were from Cine Replicas, and I also got this uh, Raven Claw dressing gown, which is really comfortable, and it has the logo just here, and this is me wearing it. The slippers are really great, really comfortable, and they have this embroidered design on them. And I just think they're a really good price actually, they're only £20 from Cine Replicas, and I think they're a great, great item to have. And also, I need a new dressing gown, and this one is super comfortable, so I was very, very happy to get it from my sister for Christmas. Wow, I love those slippers. The design of them is amazing, and I also love the fact that we have got matching dressing gowns. I've got a Hufflepuff version of your Ravenclaw one, so those are really cool items that you chose there, that I've chosen to, just like Greg did. So first of all, we have these socks. I love the fact that they've got the tie, or Hufflepuff tie, and Hufflepuff badger right there. Other favourite house item is this pen. Now this came from the Platform 9 and 3 quarters shop, it's got a lovely Hufflepuff crest right there. It says Hufflepuff down the side. It's a nice quality pen, so it's got a bit of weight to it. it just twists, so I'll be using it lots for my YouTube videos this year and to plan ideas in my Harry Potter notebooks. For my question, I'm gonna ask, out of all the presents that you got, which one did you want for the longest before you got it for Christmas? So it's really hard to choose which item I've wanted the longest, because there's lots of things I've wanted. Um, but one of the things that I've really had my eye on is the Magical Creatures from Noble Collection. I really, really wanted Picket and the Ockamy because they're just such beautiful creatures. So for Christmas, I got, here it is, the Ockamy. Now I know they do an absolutely beautiful pop of the Ockamy as well. In this country it's very hard to get, but I have got this lovely Noble Collection version. The colours are stunning. I love the aquamarine colour, along with the purple. I actually think that they've done a really good job with that series, like with the little figures and stuff. And I think the colours are really good. And it looks like it's painted really well. So I've seen a lot of people on Instagram like buying the whole series. So I'm sure you'll have all of them soon. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be making a lot more of those, especially with the new Fantastic Beasts film. So I'm sure I'll be seeing those on your Instagram pretty soon. The item I got that I've wanted for the longest came in a little black box and it actually was Ron's, or Dumbledore's, Deluminator, which is just here. And it's really well made. I think it's a great item, I love the detail, I love the colour, and what makes it extra special is that when you actually push the little button, it creates a little light, which I think is a really cool little quirky feature. And I just think it's actually a really well made object. And she got it from Oliver's Brighton, which is where she works and is a fantastic shop and you should definitely check it out. So what I really want to find out is which is the most useful Harry Potter gift you've received this Christmas? So I think my most useful gift that I got for Christmas would have to be a new wallet because my old wallet, as you can see, is absolutely disgusting. Originally this was blue, so I'm very happy that I got a Deathly Hallows wallet for Christmas. And it's just very simple, it's got Harry Potter inside, just a quirky little monochrome design and I think it's just going to be really useful and I'll be happy to throw this away. The wallet is actually amazing, I love the fact that it's subtle Potter wear and you've got the Deathly Hallows on it and only true Harry Potter fans would realise what that is, it's a really really nice piece of merch. So my useful item are these makeup brushes. So these makeup brushes, I opened the gift and I thought oh makeup brushes I needed those 
but then I opened it more and out right at the bottom I could see that they are all ones which is really really cool. So, from everything that you got for Christmas what was one of the items that you had never seen before and you were really surprised to get for Christmas? Now this is a tough one because obviously being a Harry Potter Instagrammer and vlogger I do see most of the items and get tagged in a lot as well. So these are two that I really liked that I hadn't ever seen before. So first of all I got this really nice Fantastic Beast wall vinyl. It's too nice to use, I haven't taken it out really yet. But I love the Makusa clock, it is one of my favourite things in Fantastic Beasts. It's so colourful and vibrant and it's just a really iconic thing from the film. The thing that I was really happy to receive that I haven't seen before is this Hufflepuff pocket watch. So it comes on this lovely long chain and it's got the Hufflepuff logo, kind of enlarges as you look at it because of the glass dome that it's surrounded in. You click the top and it's an actual watch. I really like both those items and I especially like the um, the little watch because you are the Hufflepuff Queen and so you definitely need to have everything Hufflepuff but I think the vinyl stick is also really good and I mean it's amazing that with the new films that we have so much new merch and new graphics to go with it and I'm sure you'll find a great place for that to go in your house along with everything else Harry Potter that you have. I actually got two items that I've never seen before which were these postcard sets, which my sister also bought me. Great sister. And they are fantastic. They're just simple postcards, but each one has four that actually moves. And I don't know if you can see, just by the front cover, that um, they're holographic. So it comes with four holographic cards, which can be removed. And also it says 16 regular postcards. So it's really cool. And you get scenes from the film. Um, obviously this is Philosopher's Stone and then there's also Chamber of Secrets as well and I just think it's really it is a really simple idea but you just get some of the best scenes and I'll try and get some close-ups of these so you can see them because they're really great just a great quality item and hopefully they should be bringing out the rest of the series and I will definitely be getting the rest of them so just for fun and not relating to Christmas presents uh, that you've got this year but what is the weirdest, strangest, or just worst piece of merch in your collection? So for my weird item, I have got this Hermione doll. So I didn't get this for Christmas, it came in a Geek Gear box earlier last year. I don't know what's going on with it. We've got some kind of Ginny ginger hair, triangle for a start. We've got an orange Gryffindor scarf. And as Greg says, she looks a bit like a potato. So I'm not really sure what to make of this doll. And it's definitely my weirdest piece of Harry Potter merch. I absolutely love potato bag hair Hermione and think that that is absolutely hilarious. Uh, we've talked about it quite a bit before, like we did it on our live. I just think if you have to ask whether it's Ginny or Hermione, then I'm not sure they've made it too well. But at least they tried. For my worst piece of merch, I'm going to go for this which is the most disappointing thing I think I've ever bought and it was classed as a Harry Potter magic wand and it looks quite great but actually if I just take it out of the packet it's just a piece of rubber <laughs> and it's actually really bendy and I was so disappointed because it's meant to look like a stick and you think it's going to be really great and it came in the official packaging it is legit it's real but it's just the most pathetic item <laughs> I think I've ever seen. And it even has the Harry Potter stamp on it. But I mean, honestly, even for a fancy dress costume, who's going to use this? I mean, seriously. What is this? Like with every video, I just want to say thank you for watching. And feel free to comment below any ideas you've got for future videos. Because I want to make more of them a bit faster in 2018 in this wonderful year and also like this and give it a thumbs up and a comment down below for what your favourite item is and subscribe and also I'm going to put the details for Hufflepuff Queen and myself at the bottom and our Instagram so you can come check us out anytime and hopefully we'll see you again soon bye and beware of a floppy wand <laughs>